Welcome back, duelists. Casual duelist here, and uh, <laughs> my play mat was off center, so I do apologize for that. Um, it's time for tech analysis. All week we've been doing stuff. Um, a lot of it Cyber Dragon based. So I, I kind of hope that you guys have enjoyed that because uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, just super into the, the Cyber Dragons ever since like the GX series. Uh, it's kind of getting me excited. We're getting real close to like the new Speed Duel set being released. Um, so like, I'm just, I'm trying to get myself into the mindset. Hopefully we get a cool Cyber Dragon deck there too. Uh, and then at which point I'll be real upset that I, uh, I did the common charity in the main game decks in the same week and didn't have the Speed Duel, but eh, whatever. Um, to the point though, uh, today's tech analysis is on one of the best spell cards in the game. And for some reason... Konami said just play three of it. So the one card I did use in the Cyber Dragons this week that is the craziest thing out there is Raigeki. I mean, we've had this thing since, what, like, maybe not day one. I think we got the Structure Decks and then we got Legend of Blue Eyes as a set. Uh, I don't think it all dropped at the same time. So sort of-ish day one, but, like, we, we've had it for uh, 20 years. 20 years we've had this spell. Uh, and for most of that 20 years, this spell card has been banned. Uh, recently, for about a little last year or so, it's been limited to one, which I think is really cool. Uh, and Konami said, you know what? Have three of them. Play your playset, my friends. So everybody who doesn't collect in playsets is, has been asking me locally, hey, can we get a couple? Uh, and I look at them, I'm like, yeah, they were in the trade binder. People already picked them up. Sorry. Um, but it's not a terribly expensive card. Um, so there's not much to talk about with the effect. Uh, it's literally just destroy all monsters the opponent controls. It's a very controlled version of Dark Hole, which coincidentally, we've also had that since the beginning of the game too. Uh, because it was in the structure deck, sorry, starter decks. Uh, somebody out there is going to correct me and I know it would normally be me. Um, but yeah, we had him in the original, like, uh, starter deck Yugi. I, I think starter deck Kaiba had it as well. Um, and then again, it was released as a super rare, just like Raigeki was, in Legend of Blue Eyes. Uh, back when spells were magic cards. But as far as what this card is going to cost you, since this doesn't have any costs to playing it, um, it's going to be fairly cheap, so... Uh, the Super Rare Spirit Charmers, if you guys picked up that deck, uh, what was that, like last year, maybe the year before that? Uh, it was just kind of tossed in there the same way they tossed Feather Duster in the Ancient Egyptian God decks last summer. Um, and so those Ride Gekis are like two and a half bucks to three bucks. The 2019 Tins, that's the ones that you saw me rocking, two and a half to four. You got the Maximum Gold El Dorado, two to three dollars. The original LOB Super Rare, you see how it says Magic? Whoop, right there. Um, that one is still only like 3 to $4. Crazy, right? The Secret Rare from the Legendary Collection 4, which again, not sure why Konami stopped making those. Um, five and a half to almost eight bucks. Uh, you got the Ultra Rare Legendary Kaiba Collection. Uh, three to four bucks. Uh, Premium Gold Return of the Bling. Terrible name, cool looking card, three to four bucks. Uh, legendary collection Yugi's World, uh, four to seven. And again, it just keeps changing. Again, it's a rare in the battle packs. Uh, for the longest time, that was the rarity that I had. Uh, and then the best one, like the best one, is the ultimate rare. Uh, again, OTS pack two, uh, 115 bucks to close to 170 or 17. Sorry. It was a big mistake there. Uh, and then they get this retro pack one that they're saying uh, market value is still close to 200 bucks. Um, I wouldn't pay 200 bucks for that spell card, but that's just me. So it's been printed a few times. We don't have a common yet. When we do get a common, believe that it will be in my common charity selections. Um, but this card just goes in any deck. It doesn't matter what style you're playing. you be playing control. You're going to be like, I just don't want your monsters to have effects anymore. Just... Please put them in your discard pile or uh, like we were doing here and we were trying to get into like a big power bond play or, uh, you know, just go for for big uh, that double infinity play. 
You could just gacky the field too and just absolutely clear the way for them. Um, and it's fine. Uh, outside of that, there's not much to talk about. This card is just too straightforward to take too much time. So just real quick, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, and if you wanted to support the channel, subscribe if you already did that. Just keep coming back. Keep watching. Uh, outside of that, guys, just seriously, go have a great day. And uh, I think that means we did something Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, today. That's like an entire week of videos. And that's not including any play content I was able to actually get uh, to record and put up in the meantime. So there may have been a couple of days where you guys got a couple of videos. Uh, at which point, I, I'm just glad that I could do that and get that out there for you guys to enjoy. And I hope that you have been enjoying that. So just have a great day, guys. And I'll see you next week with some more stuff. Later.